Welcome to this overview of the IMEX Consortium data resource. In this video, I will explain the service that IMEX provides and show how you can query the IMEX portal to begin exploring a protein's interaction network. IMEX is a collaboration between several protein interaction databases who have agreed to share curation effort. Contributors to this project include both encompassing databases such as Intact and databases specific to an organism or biological area of interest. The IMEX website is available at www.imexconsortium.org. IMEX datasets are curated from the literature to a consistent standard using an agreed set of rules. These are described in this PDF under the curation link. There is only one curation of each publication among all the datasets. You can search these data for interactions made by a specific protein, a set of proteins, or within a particular organism. Searching a protein is done straight from the home page. In this example, I'm going to use a well-known interactor, the tumour suppressor P53. Now, I could just type P53 into this box and run a query, but I'll get the best results if I'm specific. The IMEX service is based around Uniprot accession numbers, so I'm going to use the Uniprot accession for human P53. So, quick hop over to the Uniprot website and query P53. We find the human accession number, which is P04637 in this case. Back to IMEX, P04637, and search. The search results page will look something like this. The green lights beside each database indicate that they are operating normally. In this example, we see that the P53 query has found interaction hits in four of the databases. We can click on any database to see a list of the interactions found. For the I2D database, you can see we have found 19 recorded interactions. The data are annotated using the standards developed by the Molecular Interaction Group of the HUPO Proteomics Standards Initiative. There are download options for both PSIMI XML and tab delineated formats. At this point, we can use Cytoscape to visualize the interactions as a network. To do this, we click on the graph link. I2D has records for five interaction partners for human P53. We can zoom in and move elements around to get a better view. By turning merge edges off, we can see, for example, that of the 19 recorded interactions, most concern interaction with DUSP26. Some interactions may be recorded in more than one database. IMEX allows us to see a list of the unique interactions, clustering duplicates into a single record. We can cluster between all databases with matched interactions, or select which databases to use with the tick boxes next to each database name. To cluster duplicates, click on the Cluster This Query button. The cluster process will run on the server. When it is complete, we can see the status of the clustered query change to Completed, and we can click on this to view it. The default view remains this table. You can see that all interactions between P53 and any one partner, recorded in any database, have now been condensed to a single table row. Again, to look at these interactions in the Cytoscape viewer, we can click on the graph link. The controls for changing your view remain the same. That concludes this overview of the IMEX Consortium resource. Contact information and a link to the IMEX curation rules can be found from the IMEX homepage. If you would like to learn more, consider attending an EMBL, EBI or PSIMEX training event. A list of upcoming events can be found via the training event on the IMEX homepage. On behalf of the IMEX Consortium, thank you for watching.